this aircraft, as you can see, single aisle, right, a narrow body over the North Atlantic. We compared it this morning, we saw the fuel tanks. Um, it's about 20 tons, 20,000 kilos, I should say, uh, compared to, for instance, the 48,000 that we would take on a 330. That tells you something immediately, right? So roughly 40% fuel that we take with us on, on a flight. We still connect Canada in this case Toronto, right? We're on the inaugural flight with the narrow body. So we still connect Scandinavia with Canada and we do that by using substantially less fuel. So great for us, these aircraft are part of everything that we're doing. The first one is secondary markets, right? Let's try and figure out what kind of secondary markets don't have a direct service yet to, for instance, the United States, and there we can try things. But from our hubs, from the main operations, right, Stockholm, Oslo and Copenhagen, you can actually try things that are not connected yet, right? So we don't have direct flights to Canada, okay, great, now we can do it. With a wide body, the capital um, yeah, exposure in a way, right, the financial risk, if you like, of trying that with a wide body is, of course, far greater. So we're doing that now with the 321LR. So it serves both of those needs and requirements. We can try things from our hubs and we can certainly also test things from our secondary markets and you'll see some of that as well. I, I really like this aircraft so far, but we don't have a lot of data yet. So we've started it. Passengers really seem to enjoy it. Um, not just today, of course, right? Good, good, good feedback already. Everybody, I'm, I'm checking, I'm talking to people here. It is a real beautiful aircraft. Business class and also, of course, premium economy is really a very strong product. Um, here you have the two one seats, right? Two one, two one. Um, fantastic. So, um, yeah. Let's give it a few more months. I do think that we need a bit more data to see really whether the financials are indeed as strong as we think it is. And then if that's the case, I would not be surprised if we want to order more. First of all, we have too many wide bodies, right? When you look at what happened during COVID, um, hey, there was no market for the wide bodies for a very long time. Now there is still no market to Asia. Asia, of course, as, as, as we all know, is still closed for COVID, but also because Russian airspace is now closed since the invasion of Ukraine. So we have too many white bodies. Two, we have two types of white bodies. That also doesn't make any sense for the limited fleet size that we're having. And then three, the 321 LR is actually a great aircraft, right? So we have to really see that future in the light of, yeah, highly likely fewer white bodies because we don't need them we don't need two different types of white body aircraft and the 321LR could really replace and then hopefully grow some of the markets that we will want to serve it's a very good um, in a way entry level for a premium product but with a fantastic um, service and product. You, you should really see that, um, how, that uh, how that performs. Um, passenger appreciation extremely high. Again, those price points, of course, really, uh, really targeting a different segment, right? So um, it works for us and, uh, and happy to have the three class. Premium today, as you can see, totally full. That is, uh, that is great on an inaugural flight to Toronto, first flight out. Um, but also the premium economy is 100% uh, is uh, load factor, so, so far, so good.